Hey guys, a very, very good morning from France. We are standing in a beautiful seminary. This is converted to a hospital in World War II, but before it was a seminary, its original purpose in the 1800s when it was built was to be a seminary. We're walking straight into the courtyard of the place. Incredible courtyard, look at it, with the chapel over there and all the buildings behind it. Take it in, it's incredible to see. 18th century building. In the beginning of the 18th century, this building was constructed uh, for priests and ministers to be taught. That's what a seminary is, uh, to learn about history of religion and religion itself. So the priests and the ministers could run a church and they would all be taught in this place. But because uh, religion is decreasing year after year, this place uh, was not uh, in high demand anymore. There weren't that many priests and ministers anymore. So uh, it was converted in the 1950s uh, to a hospital. I've always been really fascinated by the history of religion and why it has been decreasing over the years and years in France and in Europe, especially. You see it a lot over here. Churches are being, getting uh, abandoned. Uh, places like this are getting abandoned. And I'm, I'm just excited to see why that is. I'm not excited that religion is decreasing. Absolutely not. But just the history behind it and why it's decreasing. It's very interesting to me. And I think to you guys as well. A lot of my viewers on YouTube are religious people. They are from Central America. Um, so they are very religious still. And I want to show them how it's like in Europe why these places are getting abandoned. It's crazy. There are only a few places in Europe left where a priest or a minister can be taught to become a priest or a minister. So, uh, yeah, it's very unfortunate actually because a lot of people get a lot of value out of religion and it's just not there anymore. Over here is the church. Let me take you guys inside. Let's go inside of the church. The whole door is destroyed, but it doesn't matter. Besides learning about religion, uh, the priests and ministers also had to practice religion. So they built this chapel slash church for them to uh, practice religion and to pray to God. Wow. A lot of ceremonies would be hosted inside of this place. Look at the beauty of it. It's incredible. See the altar in there in front, the painted glass above it. Beautiful to see. Is that the Pope? You can see on the glass, Charlie? Yes, yeah, the Pope. Wow. Besides the library and the bar, the priests and ministers, they also had a lot of other amenities. For example, here, over here, we have a theater hall. This one is pretty spectacular. Come inside of it. Yes, in the 1800s, 1900s, they didn't have movies, of course, and uh, they didn't watch movies inside of here. They would prepare a play and perform it before each other. It's incredible. Technology ruined everything. <laughs> no, it's not true, but uh, yeah. These chairs here are actually still pretty, pretty nice. Wow, that's, that's insane. Man, look at this, shorty. A vandal has come here and cut every single chair with a knife. Oh, that's so inc so insane. Not a single chair has been spared. Okay, we're now gonna take a look upstairs. You can see this beautiful winding staircase over here. Worked with wood and everything. It's just incredible to see. Upstairs there are the bedrooms of the priest, but of course after 1950, this used to be a hospital. So probably we're gonna see some uh, things from the hospital as well. So the population of the priests and ministers that were being taught at the seminary, they were diminishing year over year. In 1800, this place used to be full. There would be no space anymore. Everybody would have wanted to become a priest or minister, but years passed by and that number decreased. So when the war broke out in 1945, they needed a place to treat the French soldiers. So they uh, converted this yeah, seminary into an hospital. You can see one of the hospital beds is still left behind here. This is a very old school hospital bed. Wow, look at the strings over here. <laughs> Can't imagine lay on, laying on that in the morning you would have back pain. France was actually yeah, was very involved in the war, so they needed a lot of places to treat their soldiers and the people that got hurt in the war. 
So uh, yeah, this place was ideal for it because it was disused anymore. It was not being used anymore, and uh, was a perfect option to to make a hospital from it. It's quite big. Had a lot of rooms. Let's check out one of the rooms inside of here. Here will be four beds because you can see we have four outlets, one, two, and two on the other side. So four soldiers would be inside of this room. Also a little bit of a vanity over here to wash themselves for their shavers. And outside is also really beautiful. In the middle of the countryside. I think this part of the hospital has been uh, added to it, has been rebuilt, because this looks very much like a hospital and not like a seminary. Oh, I can see all the hand drilling on the side. Let's go also go in one of the rooms over here, Johnny. Let's have a quick look, they are all empty, so we're not gonna show all of them to you guys. As you can see, typical hospital room from that area. I'm shivering inside of here, it's very cold and I forgot my jacket. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Almost fell there. <laughs> floor looks very unstable. Yeah, I think over there we can get a view of the top of the chapel. Was it through here? Maybe through this door? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I have one of these very small bathtubs. I saw that once in a castle. I'm gonna link the castle. The link to the castle is below. Oh yeah, and the annotations and below. These were bathtubs from the day. <laughs> Wow, urban exploring. <laughs> Never gonna forget this in my life. Something so beautiful, so peaceful, so quiet. This chapel from the top is just insane with all the windows and the chairs below. <sighs> I use my imagination from time to time and then thinking just about how it used to be in the 1800s, seeing the priests and ministers sitting down below, listening to the cardinal, telling about God and religion. Wow. Even the birds shopping behind uh, in the background, that's beautiful. I want to thank you guys very, very, very much for watching this week's video. We've been exploring the sickest places over the last few weeks. We've been seeing it on our channel. So many abandoned houses, so many abandoned castles. And then this seminary, something that I really wanted to see. And uh, yeah, it's just been incredible. <sighs> thank you very, very much guys for all the support that we're getting lately. We are growing so, so fast. It's just incredible. And uh, as always, thank you very much. Please like, subscribe and comment. Support us on Patreon if you have the money so we can explore all around the world, places like this. And uh, I will see you next week, as always, guys.